nothing better than a good cup of coffee in the morning, especially from a SpaceX mug with the dragon in front. Gives you a lot more energy than usual coffee. So guys, welcome back to my channel. After almost three weeks, I was able to finally get getting started with the MATLAB series. And um, I know you guys have been waiting for like two weeks or so to see the first video. I know I was quite busy. I had an exchange week in university and was had some other stuff to do. So sorry for that. And thanks a ton for your messages on my social media channels asking uh, quite a lot, hey, where's the, where's the first video, etc. I do not want to make so much excuses, um, but... Uh, excuses, excuses. C can you close the door or...? Okay, thanks. So, um, today we are slowly getting started. So I will show you how you can create a MathWorks account, how you can download MATLAB, also have a look at the GUI, so the graphical user interface of MATLAB. Not going too much into depth in the first video, but rather slowly getting started and that also people who don't know anything about MATLAB can follow along and are not overwhelmed by the sheer amount of workload that we have in front of us. So I want to make the videos as short as possible because the attention span might be not too long and I don't want to make videos that are like 20-30 minutes long um, that's just counterproductive. Without talking too much and without further ado I would say let's jump right into the slides and let's go. The only way to learn a new programming language is by writing programs in it. Dennis Ritchie So welcome again from my side and welcome to the MATLAB series which I call From Zero to Hero or the MATLAB Mega Course as in my GitHub repository, however you want to call it. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Yusuf and you can find my social media links at the right hand side of this slide and also my website at the very bottom of the right hand side. On my website I will also publish uh, blog posts from time to time talking about upcoming series which I'll uh, quickly show you. So here's the website and if you scroll down you can see that I've already posted the MATLAB from Zero to Hero blog post. If you click on it, you can read through it, what the goal of this series is, have some site information, and a PDF on the structure will come soon, as stated at the very bottom. If you want to uh, keep up to date with the latest uh, blog post, I would advise you to put your email down in this field, uh, agree to the privacy policy and just click send, and then you will be notified in the future if I upload any new content on my website. So let's keep going. As mentioned, you can find all the relevant materials of this course in my GitHub repository as depicted on this slide. So here's a rough draft of what I have planned for the MATLAB series. The first block covers the MATLAB fundamentals. So we will talk about what MATLAB is, how you can install it. Uh, that's what we are going to do today. Then we will cover the basic arithmetics, what data types MATLAB covers, some conventions and cover special values. We will talk about special operations like the relational operations and apps and sign functions, etc. We will talk about a little bit about scripts, so how you can save your precious work in scripts. And we will start with very easy functions. And on the right hand side you can see git and shell. So if there's any wish from your side to talk about shell commands or git in general, how it works, I might release a series on that as well. So if you would like to see more on that, just drop me a comment and I will work on that series as well. Moving on, MATLAB intermediate block. In this block, we are going to talk about vectors, matrices, uh, how to save and load data. Also talk about more sophisticated functions Conditional statements will be covered in the intermediate block and we will talk about loops. Last but not least, we will talk about MATLAB Advanced as well as Simulink, Introduce Simulink. We will talk about debugging, how you can debug your code, which might be a very tedious task to do. We will talk a little bit about symbolic mathematics, how you solve differential equations and have a look at some systems. Then I'll introduce you to Simulink, how you can use it, talk a little bit about very simple systems and maybe complex systems that you can implement by yourself. 
and we will also cover advanced examples like the Lotka Volterra equation, which is the predator prey equation, as some of you might know already about, and also talk about engineering systems, as this is an engineering channel, and we will talk about, let's say, the spring pendulum or any other mechanical system. So, prerequisites for the course what you do not need are plenty of books. You do not need a degree and you don't need any money. So this is a free course from my side for you guys that you can watch on YouTube. Everything will be available for free. If you want to support me, I'll talk about that later on, but you do not have to put your money into any course. So what you need though is a good listening. So you should listen and if I'm too fast, you could just pause the video or decrease or increase the speed depending on my speed or what your preference is you would need some some paper uh, maybe a note notebook a pen to take some notes and write down the most important stuff but i hope th that my slides will cover that and you can find everything on my in my repo but if you want to take notes feel free to do so and last but not least you need time of course a time investment is a good thing to have and good thing to do because the more time you, you invest in a program the more you get out of it so the learning objectives for the day are you know what MATLAB is you know how to install MATLAB on your machine and you know what MATLAB can be used for of course you cannot know everything about MATLAB and what it can be used for however you have a basic understanding and know some of the fields that MATLAB can be used in So MATLAB is a high-level programming language. That means that it is very easy to read and not so as compared to uh, machine language, for instance. It is a dynamic language, meaning it is dynamically typed. For instance, some of you might know Java and Java in comparison to MATLAB is strongly typed and statically typed. So every expression and variable has a specific type that is known the type of the variables you defined are determined at runtime, which is easier for programmers, but is a bit more error prone. The thing is, is when MATLAB encounters a new variable, it automatically allocates uh, the right amount of storage. And when the variable changes, it basically reallocates memory if necessary. I also mentioned that it is weakly typed as compared to Java. Um, that means that the type of the variable is not enforced. Let's say you have a string which is 1, 2 and you have an integer, let's say 8. And you can get 1, 2, 8 and treat this whole block as an integer without explicitly needing to convert this, this block or this, uh, this, these numbers. Therefore MATLAB is very weakly typed. MATLAB is also a multi-paradigm language. That means that you can use object-oriented approaches for your language. Uh, you can use the, the imperative paradigm or procedural paradigm. I'm not going too much into depth what this is. If you want more information, you can have a look at Wikipedia, for instance. Or if you want me to explain it in a bit more detail and make some examples on that, just drop me a comment down below. So a little bit about the history of MATLAB. So MATLAB stands for Matrix Laboratory and was developed in the late 1970s by Cleve Moller. And what the intention was is that he had the packages LinPack and IcePack and he didn't want his students to learn Fortran. So that's why he created MATLAB. And an engineer called Jack Little uh, was exposed to this development of Cleve Moller and joined with him and they both created MathWorks in 1984 and rewrote MATLAB in C. So MATLAB is used for a bunch of applications. I have listed a few of them here. So MATLAB is an extremely powerful tool. So I have only listed a few subjects that can be uh, used for MATLAB. So you can use it for data analytics, robotics, use it for mechatronic software tools, use it for image processing and computer vision. So what I know is that you can use MATLAB for deep learning and the code is less than 10 lines long 
using several packages from MATLAB, it's quite, quite powerful. You can use it for control systems, but also embedded systems. So what we are going to do right now is to jump to the MathWorks homepage. I'll show you how you can download MATLAB and how you can proceed with the installation. So guys, welcome to the MathWorks homepage right now. So all you have to do is go to mathworks.com. And if you do not have an account already, you should create an account. I'm already logged in. If you have a university email address that is relevant when you want to click here on Get MATLAB and want to get a campus license, you click the mid column and you can check for access. So you will type in your email address and check if your campus already has a MATLAB license available. You could also download a 30 day trial here on the left hand side or simply buy a license as can be seen here. It's not that expensive. So what we are going to do now is we download the latest release and what we can do is uh, during the installation process we can log in if we have an account and MATLAB will check if a license is available or if we bought MATLAB already. I will click here download would choose Windows right now. I downloaded the executable already but you can also download it for Mac OS as I also have done it. It's quite stable from my perspective or you can download it for Linux as well. So let's just execute the exe right here. Click on it. It would unzip everything. So right here at the installation it says uh, login with MathWorks account. I have my account already set up. So here would be my email address, which would be my university email address. And then type in my password. I'm not going to do that now because I do not want to upgrade my MATLAB. I have 2018 already available. So I click cancel here and quit the installation. Once you have MATLAB installed, you can run it from your machine. Type in MATLAB and it would start MATLAB. And here we are. This is how MATLAB looks like. So at the next video, we are going to have a look at MATLAB's GUI that you have uh, just seen. We will have a look at the help, so how you can use the help functions, and also have a look at MATLAB's documentation on how you can use that efficiently for your projects. So this was the first video on the MATLAB series. I hope that you enjoyed it, could take something away from it. If you have any questions, as always, drop me a comment down below, ask me anything you would like to ask. The thing is that this MATLAB series is the basis of everything that will come later on. So if we do a if we do a series on fluid mechanics or a series on the finite element analysis or something like that or contact mechanics, whatever, we can use our knowledge from my channel about MATLAB to use it for other topics as well. So that is basically the goal. And talking about goals, as you might know, I want to reach 1 million subscribers. So make sure to share the video with your friends. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell and see you in the next one. Peace.